Hi, my name is John Jackson. And I'm Zach Morrison. And this, this is the Donald Night Trump Review. Comedy Hour. What? What? What did you What, what did th you say? This is late night review. What'd you say? That's I said the same thing. <laughs> Make sure. On a recent campaign stop in an elementary school in Iowa, Ambien spokesman Ben Carson asked a group of students <laughs> to point out the dumbest kid in class. Carson was surprised when the students all turned and pointed to a single student sitting in the corner that turned out to be just poor, innocent Jeb Bush. <laughs> poor Jeb. Thousands of people have signed a Change.org petition as Snoop Dogg narrate the next edition of documentary series Planet Earth. In the series, Snoop will explore the world and talk about such creatures as majestic bald eagles, beautiful butterflies, and hip-hop's greatest apex predator, Shook Knight. <laughs> Legendary rock band LCD Sound System has announced it will be touring in 2016 for the first time since the band supposedly called it quits back in 2011. Yeah. You probably already know this though because that one friend of yours who tries so hard to be cool that they don't actually get excited about anything and might actually be a robot was sure to share that article on Pitchfork about six times on Facebook. Yeah. Now folks, today there is a job fair on campus and we decided to give you viewers a special insight on a career. Please welcome current professional photographer and when he gets internet, part-time blogger, Fernie. Yeah. Right, yeah. uh, uh, hey, 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 Zach. So uh, uh, Fernie, tell us a little bit about what you do. Uh, I, I take pictures. You wanna? I yeah. <laughs> they can do one uh, right yeah, now. Do, yeah, yeah, there's not, on TV. But, uh, okay, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so Fernie, photography, huh? Yeah, that's great. How did you um? How did you get into that? Uh, <laughs> I started taking pictures of my friends, right? And then they they started going. Simple story. Hey, you're so good. You should start getting paid for it. <laughs> and uh, I still don't. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, 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 you seem like a pretty independent dude. Uh, what does that entail for your business? Uh, it, it means I'm desperate, uh, but, uh, mainly, no, okay, look, you see, I, I love art, and sometimes, sometimes you go commercial, sometimes you, uh, you, you, you take headshots, and sometimes you go to high school events and take pictures of kids and say it'll be good for their Tinder profile. Uh, what? Excuse, excuse me? Uh... Look, look, Zach, uh, art is misunderstood. I, okay. I, uh, I, I know this, uh, cause... When I was my height, but a little shorter, my, my dad, he, would, he gave me a camera and said, leave me and my stepmom alone. And uh, that's when I knew I was going to be an artist. All that, right. That's, that's great to hear, Fernie. That's great. But uh, it looks like uh, we only have time for one more question. I'm yeah, sorry. Uh, so what would you say to all those driven students out there who want to make a career out of being an artist? I'd say don't don't become one, <laughs> cause uh, you you'll smell bad and you'll hurt inside, and then you say, hey, I love art, but then you realize you don't love art. It's not the art you wanted fame, and it's like, oh, okay. I don't even want fame. I just want someone. I just want someone to love me. Okay, that's that's, Fernie. That's all the time we have yeah. for today. Thanks for coming on, Twitter, Fernie, Fernie. Everybody. Yeah. Whoa. Oh. I am thoroughly uncomfortable. Yeah, at me this too. Point. Yeah, that man. was disturbing on all counts, emotionally and physically. Um, but in the news, over the break, both affluenza team Ethan Couch and drug kingpin El Chapo were captured in Mexico. This led to both of them having to drop out of the world hide and go seek contest. Current <laughs> champion Amelia Earhart could not be reached for comment. Super Bowl 50 is taking place this weekend with the Denver Broncos taking on the Carolina Panthers for the title. Yeah, the big game. So the story, though, that most people are looking forward to is how will the Patriots find a way to cheat this year? <laughs> Speaking of the Super Bowl, Coldplay will be playing at this year's halftime show because nothing gets you more excited for football than fix you. <laughs> True for me, but I mean... Um, Hillary Clinton's campaign recently banned reporters from attending a speech she recently gave at Goldman Sachs, for which she was reportedly paid over $200,000. The Clinton campaign promises that this money does not mean Hillary will be motivated by Wall Street interests. It is instead solely going towards the construction of her new Death Star. <laughs> and speaking of Star Wars, it is possible that Star Wars The Force Awakens will break $2 billion at the world box office this week. 
it is also just as possible that you'll finally get around to blocking that person on Facebook who thinks they're a special snowflake just because they've never seen Star Wars. Shut up, Terrence! <laughs> oh. Uh, speaking of the movies, the Coen Brothers' newest movie about 1950s Hollywood, Hail Caesar, comes out this weekend. Not to be outdone, Mel Gibson has decided to release his new movie called Hal Hill. No, 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 no. Yeah, you know, <laughs> just better if we move on. Rumors are abuzz on social media that there has been a chlamydia outbreak amongst UT's Greek life. Now, this this is strange. I you know I assume that that some of them must be um, Trump supporters. You know, th due to the you know the thinly veiled racism, the um, the idea that the best way to make friends is to buy them. But you know what what is true is that uh, now we know they've just been feeling the burn. Yeah. <laughs> And that's going to do it for tonight's uh, Late Night Review. I'm John Jackson. And I'm Zach Morrison. And in the wise words of Martin O'Malley, goodbye forever, America. <laughs>